Hey everyone, I'm back again with more Sly Cooper, and uh, this is on, this is a new recording as of today. Today is uh, Valentine's Day, because I forgot, because when I recorded all the parts up to the one that I uploaded, um, you know, I, I got hungry and I had to eat. <laughs> but let's continue on with the game. We're almost done. I figure, you know what, might as well finish recording. I'm not doing anything, and my dog is trying to stop me. Did I do it? Damn it, I wasn't watching. Okay. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. What the heck did I do it? Hold on, what's going on? One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh shit, oh shit. Three. One, two, three. I got all three keys. What the heck? Right? Let me fast travel back here. My freaking dog. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so something's going on. <laughs> Something is going on. For some reason, the door is not... The level is not proceeding for me. I don't know why. Oh, and if I sound different, it's because I'm using a different headset. My other headset that I used to record the previous parts messed up. And... What? Okay. Okay, well, if you don't, if you've never played this game, what's supposed to happen? You throw all three keys, it flies up, and then it lands right in there and it breaks. That is. I think my game is slowly breaking. <laughs> I'm scared. I calculated the trajectory of these rocks. That is really weird. I'm I might have to clean the CD considering it's an old CD. But pretty much, uh, the mic, uh, the headset I used to record all the other parts, um,. For some reason, cause I recorded all those parts in a day, because this game's not long. Nice. And for some reason, um, everything was fine. And I play Smash Brothers with my friend every night. And when I used it to speak to him, the mic for some reason, well, the headset for some reason decided to... Ah, hold on, let me just do it this way. Oh, shit. The headset that I was using decided to break not break but it it just started bugging out on me and i tried everything i even i did everything humanly possible that i could do and nothing would work so i am now using a playstation 3 mic that i bought and never used because it felt uncomfortable but you know it's the only choice i have considering i'm gonna do live commentary from now on considering youtube red is retarded so I figure since, you know, Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day to you all out there. Uh, I mean, I'm not doing nothing, so I figure, hey, you know, I might as well record the last two, three parts. Come on, I'm ready. But yeah, this is the race I told you all about. This one is crazy easy compared to the, to the first one. Oh my god, I forgot the controls. <laughs> I was holding X. This one is very easy compared to the first one. The only thing you have to worry about is uh, the ice. Because the ice is slippery. So you have to watch the way you turn. Like right there. Let me restart that. That was a bad start. I forgot the controls. But yeah, this, this one is very easy compared to the, the first one. And at the end of the game, there is one more driving section. Which kind of kind of pisses me off. But it's not hard. It's just... But the racing controls aren't that great. And the third driving section in the game has the best controls. Why did that? I don't know. And I'm falling. Wow, I'm doing very bad. How do I use boost again? There we go. <laughs> oh, man. 
But yeah, the third race, the third driving of the game has like the best driving controls. I don't know why. I don't know why they did that because the racing controls for the first track suck. Um, this track is okay. This track is very small. It's not. It's not huge like the other one. The only thing you gotta worry about is the ice, the blue ice on the ground that slip makes you slide around. That's about it. It's pretty easy considering like I'm in third place, on well, second place now. Grab some boost. You never know. Oh god, I knew it. Come on! I hate when they do that. Move! <laughs> Oh man. But uh I wonder what else I'm gonna record. Oh shit. <laughs> because I uploaded the final part to Gears 3. Um yesterday. The Obviously this is probably this is probably gonna be a one two parter video. So I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do this. But uh, I guess we'll see. Considering last part, I was, I was tearing through the Panda King's world. I was going crazy. I there was I was a train, and I had no stops. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Get on. Okay. Huh. I could just go invisible, but you know I don't want to. But yeah, there's only three levels here. Um. This is the last time we're going to see this little uh, gun looking thing. And the final, the other final level is the final Carmelita level where she chases us down. And all we have to, all we have to worry about here, because it's not that hard. I, obviously I'm going to be cautious because I don't have, you know, a horseshoe. Um, the only thing we have to worry about here is these ninja monkeys that pop up from underneath these holes but to get rid of them all you have to do is shoot the hole that they're coming from and for some reason my control my control and camera stick is acting weird attention Oh man, but uh, yeah, we're we I think this is gonna be a one-part video, depending how the last level is, cause the last level is very annoying. Final boss, easy as hell. Last level, very annoying. Come on, shoot the shoot the grate. Excuse me. Shoot it. Okay. Dangerous. <laughs> that was weird. Oh yeah, I, I forgot the the bullets or whatever the hell I'm shooting. They don't travel far. Let me see. Yeah, that's as far as they go. They don't even reach the door. Let me in. Checkpoint. Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> this level isn't long. We just passed through these guys and uh, that should be it. Oh my god. He killed me! Slide, no. You don't even have to shoot these dudes. Wow, I have one life. What the heck? Oh yeah, that's right. This... It's an old school game, so you know you leave. You have like mad lives. You leave. You come back, and all your lives are down to like two, three. Any day now. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm not even gonna shoot you. <laughs> oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Trying to focus right now. Oh, nice. Almost there, almost there. I honestly would like to get this game out of the way because I'm not saying it's a bad game, but I honestly prefer the other slide games to this one. Break it! Oh, I missed. That's two down, one more to go. And then we go straight to Pan the King. One of my favorite boss battles in the game.
Well, the, I think the only boss, I think my only favorite boss battle in this game. Oh, man. Where is it? It's over here, I think. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, no. <laughs> but this is the last uh, Carmelita level. And this is the last level where you have to collect bottles. Because as I, I told you all before, um, the Kung Fu School level? I guess you could call it. Um, I didn't collect any of the bottles there because I'm gonna have to go back and do it all. Because you can't, you can't collect all those bottles. Well, you could collect all the bottles, but you know you're gonna have to um, beat the game first and then go back. Freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail! I don't know what you're doing here in China. But I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Let's get out of here! And there's the exit. But yeah, this is the final Carmelita chase. Um, not that hard. The clues are not that hard either to find. Because they're all pretty straightforward. Um, it's not like the other levels how I had to like go down certain paths, check. They're all pretty much in front of you. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Okay. Why does Carmelita look huge in these little uh, chase levels? Oh, uh, and don't worry, um, cause you, you probably saw that I need to climb up there to get those clues. You don't have to. Um, you can easily hop on the gate, cause you're gonna, you're gonna bring the gate down. You can easily hop on the gate and just jump backwards. Cause there's two fireworks there. There's one up there where the clues were, and that brings the gate down. And there's another one where I... I there's another one that I hit that also brings the gate down, so. You got nothing to worry about. I cannot see where her bullets are coming from. Carmelita, please. You're smothering. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, we're almost there. We're almost done with the game. Game. Almost done. Now the question is, what should I record next? Why is my camera doing that? That was weird. Don't I have the yes it is? Yes it is. Well, I haven't played this for like what? A couple weeks? No, a month actually. My car I need to shoot it. I haven't played this for like a month, I think, and I already forgot like how to play. Oh shit. Run away! Okay. Yeah, be careful um, of her shots. Oh shit. Get off! Be careful of her shots because... um, When they hit the ground, or when they hit any type of surface, uh, they do splash damage. And what splash damage is... um. Say you throw a grenade, and the grenade explodes, but it doesn't hit anybody. If you run into the explosion, you're going to take damage. Like that. Uh, another good example is uh, a Molotov. Or, you know, it's fire, you throw the fire. Uh, if you don't hit anybody directly, you're obviously still going to get burned if you run into the fire. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. Take your time on this section, because she will deliberately blow up the stuff to, to stop you. But we're pretty much done. All we have to do is hit these. And, uh, oh, yeah, she can't get us as well. So, she can't shoot us where we are. Your 
Now, there's one more page. Well, there's two more pages. Cause, well, no, three. Because the Panda King has one, the Final Boss has one, and that safe has one. Oh, shit. <laughs> she tried the sneak attack. Hit! Ah. I'm pretty sure that blast hit me. And she just stands there. Into the abyss. Alright. <clears throat> Time for my favorite boss battle in the game. Because, grab it. <laughs> because all the bosses in this game have uh, some sort of gimmick. Like, Raleigh, um, Raleigh's basically ripper Um, Mugshot is kind of annoying. Miss Ruby's annoying because sometimes the buttons don't register. Um, Panda King. Panda King has no gimmick. Panda King, oh shit. Panda King fights you straight on. There's no gimmick. He has like no uh, like platforms you have to jump to get to him. None of that. And you'll see you'll see pretty soon what I mean. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Grab onto it. See that ring on the bundle of fireworks? Hook onto it with your cane to hit your ride. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm an idiot. There we go. I will. Cutting time. Time to stay quiet. I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the previous Bakunas? That was my plan at first. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still... To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Oh shit, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, here's the fight, here's the thing with Panda King. All he does, if you're far away, all he does is shoot fire at you. You get close, he fights you. He is not hard. The reason why I say he's one of my favorite boss fights is because, you know, Kung Fu. He's he's uh he's kung fu in you, he's not he doesn't have any gimmicks. He does not have any gimmicks at all or anything. He's just straight up fighting you. Um his attacks are very easily Oh my god. His attacks are very easily dodged. Um because I've actually seen people fight him. Uh and a lot of people dodge his attacks. Like, obviously, you have to dodge the fire we wheel. Oh my god, he actually got me. Because, obviously, you have to dodge the fire we wheel because it's a spinning attack and it's going to hit you. So, you're going to have to jump. The Palms of Thunder, all you're going to have to do is stand in the middle. The Blooming Chop, you're going to have to move a little bit to the right. And I win. Your skill with that game is unparalleled. <laughs> Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China.
My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Oh, man. All right, well, we got, like, what, four minutes left? Okay, partner, this is it. A trip to Clockwork's lair. Clockwork. But, yeah, if, as you heard, um, Bentley, that little vehicle with the guns that we've been using all this time, uh, that's not ours. <laughs> that's, that's the bad guys, and we just happen to use it. But, next, but in the next part, we will be going to the final mission in the game. reason why I'm doing it next part is because this level is actually pretty long. So I will see you all in the next part of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Until then, have a great day and have a nice and have a great Valentine's Day. Bye bye.